make your enemy to cry and go blind forever with this simple prayer I want to share with you. Make them cry, scatter them, destroy them, cut them away. They will be far away from you. They will never come back to you or to disturb you in enemies, even to your relative, even to your family when you are done with this prayer that I'm about to show you in this video. So stick to this video from the beginning to the very end to know how to do it proper. Okay? So be blessed as you do. I welcome you all to this channel with the most powerful name of Jesus. You all are most welcome. Okay? So be blessed. If you haven't subscribed, do also a favor by subscribing to this channel. Share this video to your loved one. Give it a thumbs up also. Okay? This channel is for spiritual wealth tips. All we care is your safety, your health, and spiritual tips which you always need to apply to better your future, to be the best version of yourself. Okay? So be blessed as you watch. On today's video, what you need to get is a pepper. Get any pepper. Is it that fresh pepper or grind pepper or dry pepper? For the fact that pepper is active, get it one. Hold it in your hand. Yes. Pepper. Hold it in your hand and make this prayer. The prayer that you are making, you are not making it for the pepper. But the prayer that you are making, you are using this pepper as a contact. How you want God to disturb your enemy. How you want God to disturb that evil neighbor. How you want God to destroy that evil man. How you want God to destroy them, both physical and spiritual. You are using the pepper as a, con as a point of contact to destroy them. So hold it and make this prayer. Say, O oh Lord Almighty, as I'm using this paper in my hand, Lord, I'm using this paper as a point of contact to reach you, for you to pepper my enemies, pepper my evil neighbors, pepper the evil one that is around me, pepper the evil ones, surround them, pepper them, teach them a lesson, show them pepper. Destroy them in my life. Blind them in my life. Do this for me, O Lord. Do this for me, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When you are done with this, remember, do not look down on what we are teaching you here. Do not look down on it. All you have to do is keep your hope alive. Have faith in God. By His special grace, this prayer will help you greatly. Remember what God is saying in Hosea. God says in Hosea, let me read. God says in Hosea that, in Hosea 4, verse 6, that my people perish for lack of knowledge. For the fact that this word is coming from Bible, it is real. Apply it this way. Okay? So, see what God is saying in Psalm 68, from verse 1. He said, You remind God, you use, you use Psalm 68, from verse 1, to back up this prayer. Let me read. Psalm 68, from verse 1. Let God arise. Let his enemy be, this, be scattered. Let them also that hate him flare before him. Be blessed as you listen. Also, you also back up this prayer also with Psalm 144 from verse 6. He said, Send the lightning and scatter my enemies. Shoot your arrow and force them away. Seven, reach down from above, save me and rescue me out of this sea of enemy, from these foreigners. Whosoever that is going after your life hmm, is a foreigner. Yes, if he is not a foreigner, why is he going after you? 
why won't you him or she realize that you are his brother that you all are brothers in christ jesus so whenever anyone even though he is your brother or your sister or your friend whenever they start going against you they are now a foreigner yes that is what i mean by foreigners so you have to go against them stand up with your feet pray this prayer pray it this way and destroy your enemy they will never find peace when you are done with this prayer do it this way god almighty will save you god almighty will do it exactly as he says in psalm 144 from verse 6 to 7 do it and be blessed do it and rejoice greatly because when you are done doing this prayer god almighty will elevate you god almighty will uplift you god almighty will bless you abundantly god almighty will make a chance for you to lift you high above all your enemies so be blessed as you do just a pepper you're not praying to the pepper you are using as a point of contact to reach god almighty to pepper your enemies to pepper that evil man to pepper that evil woman to prepare every condition, situation, bad situation, everything that is coming your way, that has been affecting you greatly, to prepare them and cast them away. To cast out that spirit of poverty, that spirit of rising and falling, that spirit of fornication, that spirit of adultery, that spirit of talk in your life. Thank God Almighty to prepare that spirit to leave you and set you free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do this now. Start it from today. These are the things that you need to be doing before you step into 2024 because it's a great year. Forget about the government. Forget about what people are saying. Forget about what you are seeing around. That year is a great year. So pray for God to give you the privilege to see that year. You will testify. So many things will change on their own self. Yes. So get prepared. Be blessed as you do. I'm done for today's video. When when you are done with the spiritual tip that I tell you here on this video, you close up your prayer with Psalm 23. Always do this. Always close up your prayer with Psalm 23. Honor God Almighty. God will exalt you. Be blessed as you do. I'm done for today's video. If you haven't subscribed, kindly do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. Mostly share it to your loved ones and give it a thumbs up. Believe, keep your hope alive. God is still saying something to you. So, be blessed as you do. I would love to see you on my next video. Bye. Merry Christmas to you all and Happy New Year. I love you all.